I'm here to tell you the 10 things that you are not allowed to do at Kilmac Thomas Athletic Football Club, which I have been told it stands for athletic, even though it should stand for association. But anyway, let's get into the list. Number 10 is showing up on time to training, right? right this is just wrong. Right, you either show up 5 minutes late, 25 minutes early, or you just don't show up at all. Like, those are the only three options here. Like, you know, you can't be acting the bollocks and showing up on time, right? Number nine, anyway. Right, and now number nine is a very serious one. Right? But number nine is, you are not allowed, under any circumstances, to play for the under-16s and win a game. Okay, right, that just doesn't happen. Okay? Now, number eight, right? Now, number eight is that you have to get a goalkeeper on your team, right? Because if you don't have a goalkeeper on your team and you're playing in the AstroTurf, like, you're just not going to win. Like, you're going to lose, like, six or seven nil. And, I mean, that's just the reality of it. Number seven, right? Now, number seven is not doing a lap around the field. Because if you don't do a lap around the field, you get chased by ghosts, right? Because it's haunted. And number six is going upstairs in the dressing room, right? And because that's where Lar lives, right? You know, and if you go upstairs there, Lar eats you. And it's very scary. Number five, anyway. Number five is that you have to belt at least one ball into the field next door. Because it's not a proper Kill Mac Thomas training session unless you belt at least one ball. At least one. You know, two or three. Keep below five, though. Like, because, you know, you just be acting the bollocks like if you belt too many in. But uh, anyway... You know, you can't be uh, belting too many in uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Now, number four. Number four is a very serious one, too. And number four is that you have to at least try one skill, even if you are nowhere near good enough to actually make it work, right? So I want to see rainbow flicks fucking around the world. You name it. I, I want to see people trying to fucking juggle the ball on their elbows or something without touching it with their hands or something. I want to see people fucking scoring goals using their nose just anything anything that doesn't work just please try it okay all right now number three all right and number three is right the a team cannot be good okay now it might make a little might make a little you know i mean it doesn't really make sense but like the a team just simply cannot be good right you know the a team has to be assembled five minutes before the kickoff and uh, run out in the field you know, I mean, we'd like to keep it amateur. So, uh, you know, we'd like to give the other teams a chance. So, you know, we just do that. All right. Now, number two. Number two is not doing the sprints. All right. If, if you don't do the sprints, like, your legs are going to fall off, basically. Okay. So, I mean, you know, you can't really, you, you, you can't really, you know, not do the sprints. Because uh, it's very important. Do you know, there was a lad I knew who wasn't doing the sprints anyway. You know, sure, his fucking legs fell off. So it was very tragic. Anyway, number one. Number one now. Number one is a very important thing. Uh, indeed. So uh, number one, I would stress this above all else. Like this is simply just, you can't do this, right? You know, this is just like unacceptable. All right. If you take three touches in a training session, right? You are breaking every single rule in the Kilmac Thomas AFC rule book, right? Now, some people might have said hitting Tom Connolly's car is a bad thing, but believe me, this is a worse thing, right? You cannot, under any circumstances, take three touches because you'll be sent to a death camp, okay? Now, anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you take this advice very well because it's only coming once. And if this happens to you, don't say I didn't warn you.